Hello, we are live. It is Social Media Saturday, June 22nd, 2019, the first full day of summer of the year. And it was a spectacular summer summer day here at my home in beautiful Phoenix area. And I just got done hosting a mastermind coaching day for some of my clients and some very special guests. Had a group of sharp entrepreneurs. We were hanging out here out by my pool until around lunchtime when the temp started tipping up towards 100. Sid is here, good seeing you. So we headed inside to the AC and completed the day. And one thing that came up is today's tip of the day. It's about finding the GE spot. Now, before you get any ideas that this is not an R-rated video, what I mean by the GE spot is find the spot where what you're delivering is good enough for your customers, your clients, your patients, your members. Now, what I mean is this really pertains not to your core deliverable. It pertains to your marketing, your advertising, and your sales efforts. In other words, I'm giving you permission to put forth imperfect sales and marketing and advertising efforts. In your deliverable, often there's not a good enough spot. It has to be done right. I mean, if somebody is a, you know, an airline pilot, they can't say, well, you know, I landed uh, close to the runway, only a little bit in the ocean, like, that's good enough. Like, no. You know, hey, a brain surgeon, I, I did good enough. I only, you know, uh, you know, knocked out a couple of uh, brain cells, you know, like missed the mark. And it, no, no, not good enough than deliverable. That's where I get the pushback on this concept from contractors. You don't understand, Steve, I'm a plumber. If I have just a little leak in the faucet when I'm done, I can't have even a little leak. That's not good enough. It has to be done right. Okay, so again, not talking about the deliverable. No one wants to hire an attorney and have them say, well, I lost the case, but I mean, I did good enough. Like, no, there's not good enough in the deliverable. I'm talking about the marketing. I'm giving you permission to do as you see me doing right here. And that's what I was teaching the people today. Hello, Bertie. At uh, my mastermind coaching day was just what you see now. Is the lighting perfect? No. Is, did I do hair and makeup? Did I, uh, is, am I in proper, perfect focus? Do I have the right angle? I mean, you see the camera shaking and moving. You see the sun is setting right behind me. So if I just move a tiny bit or move my hand a tiny bit, suddenly, ah, what are you doing to the video? You're messing it up. Ooh, ah. So am I, once I finish recording this, am I going to get it to my editor and say, take out all the ums and ahs and you knows and clean it all up and you know, sometimes I forget what I'm saying. The title of the, the video I put out here are the three keys to whatever, and then I say number one, two, and then I get all, you know, involved in number two, and I forget to even mention number three. And then uh, later in uh, one of the comments, if someone watched on a replay, goes, hey, that was great, but where's number three? And I'm like, oh, forgot number three. Do I delete the video and do it over? No, it's good enough. Sometimes on the next day, I'll say, by the way, let me just start off with here's tip number three from yesterday. There, boom. So good enough is good enough. Find the spot that's good enough. So if people started saying on my videos, I am not hiring you. I know you help business owners and entrepreneurs 10, 20 times their income and transform their lives. However, the lighting just isn't perfect on your videos, so I'm not hiring you. I mean, if that really started happening all over the place, uh, clearly, I, I would either stop doing Facebook Live videos, or I'd hire a professional videographer to stand in front of me with the right equipment, the right camera, the right lighting. He'd have it on a tripod. I have people putting in the comments sometimes, you know, you can get a tripod for whatever. And Look, it's good enough. I get a lot of clients for my Facebook Live videos, which, by the way, if you want some help, you want to become a client, the first step is you just got to get some free help. You go to helpfromsteve.com, and I give you some help, and that's where we can both scout each other out. I will deliver some value, I will increase your income, solve a problem, end a frustration, a worry, a fear that you have, get you over a hump, help you reach a goal, and then down the road, maybe right away, maybe later, we'll decide that, hey, uh, let's uh, talk further, or I want to hire you right now, or I might say, yeah, you know, I helped you out there on the phone, but, I mean, I'll, I'll put it nicely, but, you know, we're not a good fit. In other words, I don't want to work with you as a client, no thank you. But I will help you on the call. You go to helpfromsteve.com. We'll get on the phone and I'll help you out. And uh, we can decide at the end of the call if you want to hear about possibly working more and if I even possibly want to talk about working more together than we would. And so I make a lot of money this way and I help a lot of people with my videos. So I'm going to continue to deliver 
in a fashion marketing and advertising and sales material including these Facebook Live videos that is good enough it's good enough now uh, sometimes I wait until late in the day and it's kind of dark out and you can barely see me the Sun is setting and so on you can kind of see me at the beginning of the video but by the end of the video it's kind of like really dark so that's bordering on not really good enough now it's really kind of bad and you can't see me but at least it started out and it was good enough there was light so it's really I've had people tell me all the time it's all about the content and some people were sharing today that people tell them the same thing it's all about the content we don't care and it's talking to women we don't care about your hair and makeup and how great you look and all put together and whatever and here I am every day if you follow my videos almost every day you'll see me wearing another stupid ugly red Hawaiian shirt and I don't shave and again the lighting is terrible and oh the sun is coming in in the way and camera's shaking and what the heck is going on it's very unprofessional yet yeah, but it's good enough so find the good enough spot and your, your sales marketing and advertising I'm giving you permission to just put stuff out there get it done uh, I don't remember the exact saying because I'm terrible at remembering punchlines of jokes or exact sayings or whatever but there's a saying something like my sort of okay and sort of crappy video that's done is a heck of a lot better than your perfect video that you didn't even create yet so get it done good enough is good enough I didn't say crappy is good enough but good enough is good enough and in these videos a lot of people tell me they don't even watch the video anyway they put the video on they put the volume on and they read their emails and they do something else because what's there to see I'm talking now when I do direct mail Monday and I show actual pieces from my mailbox and I'm teaching from the headlines and the envelopes and the copy and the offers and whatever's in the actual mail piece well then it's something you want to watch but if you're just sitting there staring at my ugly mug like people don't have to do that so they don't have to see the bad lighting they don't have to look at me and my unshaven face my stupid ugly red Hawaiian shirt every day and they don't have to see the Sun peeking out and blinding them in the camera and the shaky camera whatever they're just listening to the content and in this case they would listen and say wow so in other words I don't have to paralyze self, paralyze myself with fear that's the number one issue I hear about people not doing Facebook live videos or any other kind of marketing is Chiva. Gee, Steve, I'm, I'm not sure what to do and I'm not really good at it. Well, I tell the story, I make the analogy. I say, have you ever seen a, you know, a famous actor or actress go on one of the TV talk shows at night and they're promoting their movie and they make $10, $20 million a movie and the host says, you know what? We are going to play the clip from your movie, but first we found a clip from a commercial you did for Wonder Bread when you were nine and we're gonna show that and what does the famous Oscar winning actor or actress do they go oh ah, uh, no oh please <coughs> excuse me that's hilarious see I am allergic to uh, actors or actresses going on TV shows but I digress so they will undoubtedly go oh no I look terrible and then they'll show the clip and go oh look at my hair look at my outfit look at my braces I look terrible I was terrible here's the deal also similar thing with rock and roll bands right if you listen to their early album or a bootleg of when they were playing in bars before they got a recording contract and you're like they're like oh no don't play that it's terrible we sound terrible we were off key we were blah blah here's the thing that's the same thing with your advertising your marketing you're never gonna get good at it whether it's Facebook videos or anything else if you don't allow yourself the to make it available to yourself to be crappy so you can go back in the archives excuse me maybe it's because I'm standing here with these flowers and I'm allergic to something here let me move a little bit okay so my beautiful like Michelle in case you can't tell loves gardening and loves planting all these flowers and whatever okay so uh, I will just end it and go in and uh, take care of this uh, runny nose situation here. So, uh, who has a runny nose on the first day of summer when it's beautiful out? Anyway, uh, uh, so give yourself the permission to get out there. I was going to say, if you watched my early videos, I've done a daily Facebook Live video every single day now for 830 something days or whatever. If you go back to my first ones in the middle of March of 2017, I believe, I haven't watched them in a long time but I bet if I did I would go oh no those suck they're terrible I mean even these like I said lighting's no good in the hair and the makeup and the outfit and the not shaving the way you know oh my but I'll bet those early ones I bet I was rambling like more than I do now and repeating myself more than I do now 
and going off topic and on a tangent and not, you know, being sharp and quick and right to the point. And I'll bet those early ones were really, really bad. But unless you give yourself permission to be really, really bad in the beginning, you're likely never going to become really proficient and good at anything. So I hereby am giving you permission to find the GE spot in your advertising, marketing, and sales efforts. What's good enough? Put it out. Put out your first book. Put out your first video. Put out your first, put up your first website. Go give your first, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do they say, uh, a public speech. Go, go, go speak in public and on a stage. Host your first event. Do something and get it out of the way as a crap. That's it. I've hosted the hundreds of events for entrepreneurs. My first ones were terrible. Man, people would come up to me and go, like, that was terrible. Uh, I remember one of my first events, somebody came up who was a long, became a long-time client, so they stuck with me, and they said it constructively, but they were like, you know, you really kept going off topic, and uh, blah, 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 and it got, you know, really bad, and blah. Have you ever heard of something called PowerPoint? This was like 2008 or something, like I hadn't. It's like, well, you should get PowerPoint, and then you put your words and pictures on the slides, and then it keeps you on track with the message. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. He's like, yeah, because you're just standing up there and talking. You keep going on tangents and off topic, and you're losing everybody. We're falling asleep, and we don't want to come back. And my first events were terrible. <laughs> but they were good enough. Like I said, he became a long-term client. It was good enough. The content was good enough. So that'll do it for today. I'm repeating myself over and over and over and over again and again. The good enough spot. Allow yourself to be imperfect and get it done. And not crappy, not terrible, doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be good enough that people say, I appreciate it, thank you, I don't need it to be perfect. By the way, this is why reality TV shows are so popular. You know, for years people thought those will never work. You need it perfectly scripted and perfectly framed and perfectly, the lighting has to be perfect and the angle and the focus and then the... The, the Ozzy Osbourne show and the keeping on the Kardashians and the real world and the Survivor and all these early reality shows came out and now it's you know it's very common. There's the Housewives of wherever and there's the the, the American Idol and the whatever and like it it's you know it's all imperfect. You see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You see a lot of mistakes and outtakes and whatever. Like people like it. It's good enough. It gets high ratings. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that when you do your advertising, marketing, and sales. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, it should not be perfect. It should be good enough. Now you're deliverable. That should be done properly. But your advertising, marketing, sales, just get it done. That'll do it for Social Media Saturday. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for watching on the replay. I'll just check in tomorrow as I usually do on Sunday Funday. I'll say hello. I'll be back with business building tips next week on Monday on Direct Mail Monday. But tomorrow I'll check in and say hello as I probably take a dip in my pool. And I'll say hello from there. Thanks for being here today. Over and out. Bye-bye.